However, we are going to start today off with a little Q&A. Any fish questions that are on your mind, chat, let me know. Let's talk about some fish. Shrimp is bug. Shrimp are invertebrates. If you're saying that all invertebrates are bugs, but I think typically we think mostly of terrestrial invertebrates as bugs. You have a favorite crab species. I couldn't even name more than five crab species. If I had to do like the name 100 women challenge, but it was name 100 crab species, I would never finish. I would just be guessing. I'd be like Eastern crab, Western crab. Favorite lungs fish species, Australian. Spider crab. I could say a spider crab, Atlantic blue crab, mud crab, though that might not be a species. I think that might be all the crabs I can name. Lady crab. I got to four. <laughs> My favorite red fish. I like common shiners and they color up red. Um, Maybe Tennessee shiners. That's more of a more of an orange Tennessee shiners, but it's the vibe. They're very pretty when they color up. Favorite spider. Uh, some jumper, probably one of the dwarf jumpers. Favorite reef fish. I don't know. Some jawfish, maybe. I like them. Do you like sashimi? I'm vegetarian. I'm pretty sure sashimi is fish, right? Yeah. Can't eat sashimi, sorry. What are fish you know that have color-changing abilities? Almost all fish have color-changing abilities. Yeah, I think almost all fish have color-changing abilities. If you mean, like, actively, like how octopus do it, where they change color, like, instantly in response to a stimuli. Um, I can only think of a couple fish that can do that. But if you're counting, like, the ability to change their color over, say, the course of a few hours or whatever to adapt to a new environment, uh, like, fish in murky or water tend to get more colorful. Um, but fish on dark sand tend to get more colorful rather than lightly colored sand, etc., etc. I know you've traveled a ton to study fish. You ever been to Canada? We got loads of fish on the East Coast. I have not yet been to Canada. I want to go to the, like, Montreal and Toronto Eastern Canada uh, sometime this year so that I can get Brassy Minnow, Northern Pearl Dace, Black Chin or Black Nose Shiner, whichever the ones I don't have are. It's the funniest thing you've seen a fish do. Okay, I, I think I've told this story before, but I was walking down this creek in like right outside Philadelphia because someone recently had seen an iron color shiner. They had posted an iron color shiner from that location. And it looked like the photo on iNaturalist looked like an iron color shiner. And I was like, holy crap, that's pretty cool. They're pretty rare and they haven't been reported in that part of Pennsylvania in a really long time. It'd be a huge discovery. So I went to go verify it myself. Uh, it turns out it's not, uh, not, it wasn't an iron color shiner. It was just a really darkly colored swallowtail shiner, which is closely related, that was color more colorful because it was in a murky environment. But as I'm walking through this creek, this red breast sunfish, so this creek consists of like little pools with like shallow ripples in between. This red breast sunfish jumps out of the, like it, I step into the pool that it's in and it freaks out so hard that it swims full speed, launches itself out of the water and lands on like the gravel bank. I was just like, bro, <laughs> that's an insane reaction. I'm, I'm just walking through the stream and the fish just Phew! launched itself out of the water and landed on the shore. I had to pick it up and put it back in the water. Zach flex for us. Um, no, thanks. <laughs> For a sub, maybe. I ain't free. What do you think I am? Thank you, Sweeney. That's all I got. Sorry. Yeah, there's true bugs, but we use bugs to refer to everything. Like, Bug Guide is a website that, you know, includes spiders and shit, too. It's the kind of fishing you do potentially harmful to the fish in any way. Oh, yeah. I mean, wading through a creek. It is just inevitable that at some point you're going to like step on a rock that has a fish under it or something like that or a crayfish under it. Uh, like it's inevitable. It's probably happened multiple times where I've accidentally killed a fish without even knowing in that regard. Um, that's just the cost of enga engaging with nature. How's my day? That's eh, fine. What native minnows should I get? Whatever's around you. You can make it work. Huge devil crayfish. I think we've only had one report of devil crayfish in New Jersey so far. So. Luckily, they're not crazy invasive yet. Could Siamese fighting fish survive in North American waters like how goldfish do when released? I would think that if betta fish could survive in 
Florida, they would have done so already. Because basically everything survives in the water in Florida. <laughs> like, aquarium fish of rare varieties end up native, or not native, invasive in Florida from people uh, releasing them from aquariums. And I have to imagine, with betta fish being as popular of a pet as they are, they've been released plenty of times into the water, and the fact that they have not established themselves that you can't really catch wild betta fish. I mean, I don't think you can, right? I suppose I haven't really checked. Let's see. Betta. Nope. Not one INAT report from North America, or really anywhere except Southeast Asia. Mostly in Malaysia, where I was. I mean, probably half of these are me, actually. Observers of betta fish. Oh, I'm number five. <laughs> but yeah. So no, I, I guess they just really can't establish themselves here. They could just be getting picked off because their fins are showy. I don't think so. They're most likely eaten due to bright coloration. Yeah, I don't know. Stress, maybe, yeah. But I I don't know. To th you have to think about how many... There are a lot of ornamental fish that are sense considered sensitive in aquaria and have established themselves in the water in Florida. Then you have to think about how many betta fish are, like, traded in the United States. There are so, so, so many. Um... They have to be, like, released at a rate of, like, five times more than any other fish. So for not one to, like, one population to have established itself, I don't think it's as simple as, like, oh, they can't swim as well or they're too brightly colored. I, I mean, it, it has to be, like, a fundamental failure of the fish's body that it can't survive in these ecosystems. My favorite anole? Well, I've only seen brown and green. And I kept photographing anoles that were, like, greenish, thinking they were brown anoles, so I have, like... I don't know, 20-something uh, brown anoles posted on iNaturalist. And then I finally found one green anole. It's my prized possession. Anoles. Yeah, I have 24 observations of anoles. I posted 23 brown anoles before I found one green one. So this green anole was my prized possession. Let's go. Shout out to this guy. Someone should do a study on that. Might be interesting. But I don't know that it's the most relevant thing, why they're not establishing themselves. A million green anoles around me? Yeah, that's what I saw. Like, when I was on iNaturalist, I saw that there were green anoles everywhere in Florida. And yet, when I was there, I could just only find brown anoles. Favorite weevil? So, now I would say one of the nut weevils, normally. I would say, like, um, pecan weevil, maybe? Are there even good photos of this, or is it all going to be... Well, this probably isn't a pecan weevil, but... I would say probably something like this, because these are just the funniest guys with the biggest snouts. But to be honest, it's probably not one of those guys, because IDing them to species is, like, near impossible. Let's see, what weevils have I seen? I did see an oak timber worm the other day, that was really cool, but... I don't know that that's my favorite. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh shout out Hyperus melas. That's my favorite. Cloverhead weevil. This is my favorite weevil. I've caught a few of them now. They're, they're like, tough to identify. They're pretty rare. I mean, I've seen four of them out of the 58 observations on iNaturalist. They're in Europe and North America. They're pretty cool. I like them. They're a favorite of mine. My favorite weevil is the one that first pops up when you Google stupid-looking bug. What? <laughs> um, It looks like some kind of broad nose. It's got, like, an emerald coloration to it. I would guess this is probably, like... Southeast Asian. Has it been identified? You said it hadn't been identified? It's probably one of these. Somewhere in here. Look for a, a jade one. This one looks vaguely similar. Unathus. Oh! Shit, I clicked on Weevil Porn from the correct angle with the jade coloration. This one also has some jade coloration to it. What the fuck? Dude, why did Southeast Asia get all the cool bugs? What is this, man? You just have a weevil that looks like that? It's in Taiwan. It's in one county in Taiwan. That's fucked up. Look at the second image when you Google stupid looking bug. This is just a some tree hopper. What, that it's ponderous jimothy? This is this isn't stupid. This is just a cute jumper. Some other leaf hopper. That's a funny one. That's a, just a weird ass weevil. Looks like a giraffe weevil, but I don't think it is. Why is like the tenth thing to come up a stink bug? Assassin bug. Wait, this comes up from Bug Guide? Wait, the silly dumb bug on Bug Guide? Silly bug keeps landing on its face and can't get up. Bro. Bro posted this species to Bug Guide and called it the silly dumb bug, and now it's 
number nine on Google for a stupid looking bug. That's funny. You can control anything by just posting it. That's not even what they called it. That's what the person who posted it on Bug Guide called it. I already said my favorite spider. Some jumper, some dwarf jumper. I haven't decided what, which one. My dad has a yo-yo loach that is around 23 years old. How abnormal is that? I mean, it's probably abnormal for the aquarium trade, but it's probably not that absurd. Do you have any idea how crud crayfish managed to make mud towers in my yard? They wander. Burrowing crayfish kind of just wander when it rains, I think. Geology hike sounds nice. Oh, look. Hey, chat, you better behave. Better behave or the prospector will get you. <laughs> Look like one of the, um, the movie guys. Didn't know he had legs. I've done push-ups like every stream. How many subs to wear cheap wig? Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't know. Are you buying the wig? Anyways, I haven't used it yet, but I got it for um, rock hounding. Ice Climbers reference. Uh, you have brain rot. Sorry to, sorry to be the one to tell you this. You have brain rot. Everyone is obsessed with the top of your head. Ah, well. Better than being obsessed with... I don't know. Anything else, probably.